Good Tuesday evening, 64 degrees out there, taking a live look outside of Bryan. You can see the a campus there in the background. Cold front has worked its way into Bryan College Station. Temperatures going to continue to fall as we head through the evening hours. Notice the cooler temperatures across the northwestern zone, sitting at 51 degrees in both Waco as well as Temple. Those temperatures going to continue to tumble downward as those northwesterly winds usher in some drier air. Here's the cold front working its way into the eastern zone. See the showers and storms that are developing along Along that cold front. Nothing severe, but cloud of ground lightning a possibility as well as some gusty winds. This will be out of the Brazos Valley within the next hour and a half, quickly scooting off toward the east. Now taking a look at the entire region, notice the snow across parts of Oklahoma. This gives you an idea of just how potent the storm system is. Some areas up in northwestern Oklahoma, southwestern Kansas got a foot of snow. No snow here, but it's really not that far away, and it's just a reminder that it is winter and we are tracking an Arctic cold front. I'll have details on that here in a second. Notice the cold front working its way in going to quickly scoot off to the south and the east during the overnight hours. That's going to allow the temperatures to fall into the low 40s. We're going to have a pretty stout northerly breeze tomorrow morning. You want the light jacket because it's going to feel like it is in the 30s. Now tomorrow afternoon, we're not really going to warm up too much, only in the 50s because of the northerly winds. Also going to see some cloud cover rotating into the Brazos Valley. That is going to keep it on the cool side out there. So just keep that in mind. Probably going to need that light jacket handy throughout the day. Taking a look at the rainfall totals, two tenths of an inch here in Bryan College Station 62 hundreds up there in Madisonville. That was the big winner, but overall not too bad. We'll take any rain we can get. So storm system going to scoot its way off toward the east heading into tomorrow. Next storm system that will impact us Thursday into Friday starting to dig into the four corners area by tomorrow afternoon. That's going to slowly creep into northern Mexico on Thursday. That'll <coughs> eventually help a surface low develop pumping in moisture into the Brazos Valley. Now a little part of this system going to break off and try to retrograde to the south and the west. This will impact us early next week, but let's focus on this storm system going to aid in some moisture return as well as cooler temperatures here in the Brazos Valley. Taking a look at that future radar as that upper level storm system works its way into northern Mexico. It's going to allow a surface low to develop uh, over northeastern parts of Mexico. That's going to help pump moisture into the Brazos Valley spot showers by Thursday evening, and it's going to continue heading into Friday morning. That's when we're going to see the most widespread precipitation will be Friday morning. Now, it's not going to be widespread throughout the day, but just periodic rain chances. Notice that we see those uh, temperatures really increase over the weekend into the 70s, but like I said a second ago, winter is not over. Take a look at this Arctic plunge that happens next week. Monday, Tuesday going to be nice, but as we head into Tuesday evening, a cold front going to work its way in, dropping those temperatures significantly. Now, don't look at the exact values too close, but just note that colder temperatures do work its way into the Brazos Valley, we're going to see wind chills likely falling into the 30s, maybe even the 20s with temperatures struggling in the 40s likely for the afternoon hours. Again, still far out, a lot can change, but everything is signaling that we're going to see a pretty significant plunge in temperatures Tuesday night, and that'll continue into the end of the week. Here's that seven day forecast. Notice Tuesday isn't bad, 66, but old man winter going to be ringing, uh, ringing in, riding in on a sleigh with those little bells as we head into Tuesday evening. and. Wednesday, temperatures likely going to remain in the 40s for highs. Well, however, old man winter's coming. I don't want them to come. Don't I know, go. right? Go back and get on out of here because it's going to feel like spring on, on Sunday. It's going to be in the 70s. It's going to be mm. light winds, mild, and then old man winter, he says, not so fast. And I like your haircut, by the way. It's, uh, yeah, <laughs> old man that. winter going to make a comeback. So uh, you should have kept your hair because your head's going to need your it. going to be cold on Wednesday. Well, well guess, thank God it's basketball season, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm glad about that. Aggies, uh, they were really cold on Saturday. I mean, really cold. O OSU came in here and took them to school. So looking to rebound A&M at Tennessee as we speak. So first half highlights for you.